Hi guys, this is Mekha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this website banner in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our website banner. First we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle. Nineteen twenty by one thousand eighty pixels. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point, then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we will select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply on the rectangle like this. Now we will set the colors of the interactive fill tool. Now we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a circle. Now we will set the equal size of the circle. Now we will adjust the size of the circle. Now we will fill color in the circle and we will remove the outline by right click. Now we will go to the effects menu and we will select option blur then we will select Gaussian blur. Now we will adjust the radius size. Now we will import one background image. Now we will adjust the size of the background image. Now we will right click on the image and we will select power clip inside. Now we will click on the rectangle. Now we will click on add it. Now we will adjust the image according to the rectangle. Now we will select the transparency tool from the toolbar and we will decrease the transparency of the background. Now we will click on finish. Now we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small circle. Now we will set the size of the circle. Now we will decrease inside with the shift key and then right click to make a copy. Now we will select both circles and we will click on back minus front. Now we will fill color and we will remove the outline. I will place this shape here. Now we will select this and we will select the transparency tool. Now we will decrease the transparency. Now we will right click then power clip inside. Now we will click on rectangle. Now we will select the shape and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will decrease the size. Now again we will go to the effects menu. And we will select blur then Gaussian blur. Now we will decrease the radius size. Now 
then ok now we'll place this blur circle here now again we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar now we'll draw a small rectangle now I'll click on round corner now we'll select the shape tool from the toolbar now we will round the corners now we'll fill black color in this shape and we will remove the outline now we'll place the shape here Now we will select the text tool from the toolbar and we will write the text. First we will write home, then products, then our design, gallery and block. Now we will adjust the size of all the text and we will place one by one. I will give a white color to this text. Now we will adjust the size. I will give a bold look to the text. Now we will set the size of the text. Now we will select all the text one by one and we will set the same size and we will place and we will change the color. Like this and we will right click then grow. Now we select all the text. Now we will set the align. So we will click on selected object then align center vertically. Now we will set the distribute. We will drag with the arrow key. Now again we will select the text tool. Write more text. Now we will write the slogan. Now we'll select the horizontal alignment, then center. Now we will change the font style. Now we'll place this text here. I'll change color. I will give a white color to this text. I will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a small rectangle. I will click on round corner option. I will select the shape tool. Now we will round the corners like this. We will adjust the size. Now we will zoom and again we will adjust the size. Now we will select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this. Now we will set the colors. Now we will adjust the colors and the angle of the color. Now we will remove the outline. Now we will select this. Now we will select the shadow tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this. Now again we will select the text tool. Now we will write shop now. Now we will adjust the size and we will place like this. I will give a whole look. Now we will write the website. Just the size 
size and we will place here. Now we will import these two images. One is logo image and the watch image. Now first we will write the text on the logo. size and we will place here now we will select the watch image now we will adjust the size of the image now we will place here Now first we will keep the watch aside. Now make a copy of this blur circle. Now we will place the watch. Now we will decrease the size like this. I will give a black color. Now we will go to the effects menu and we will select blur then Gaussian blur. Now we will decrease the size of the Basically, we are creating a shadow. Now we select and do control page down. Now we will go to the transparency tool and we will increase the size of the transparency. Now we will adjust the size. Now we'll select the common shapes from the toolbar. Now we'll select this shape. Now we'll draw this shape. Now we will select the color. Now we'll select the rectangle tool and we will draw very small rectangle like this. Now we will create a search icon now select this both and we will press the to align center now we'll right click then group now we will rotate like this now we will decrease the size and we will place here So guys our website banner design is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial you can ask me on the comment box. Please like share and comment and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.